Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Game of Thrones Total War here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new campaign on the Fire and Blood mod, set within the time of the House of the Dragon series. We're going to be playing as Daemon Targaryen, the Rogue Prince, here today. We're going to be kicking things off with this campaign in the Stepstones, and what we're going to be doing here today is hopefully try and destroy the uh, Triarchy, and we might even march on King's Landing. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Florence, am I first? Yes, you are. Welcome to the stream. How are we all doing? Aku Samar, let's go. Rob Stark in the chat. Bruh, so ready. Hot D is so good. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm loving some hot D at the moment. Game of Thrones. It's uh, been really enjoyable. So, I thought... Why not? Let's get back on the Fire and Blood mod. I put out a poll yesterday for you guys, um, umming and ahhing what to stream this evening. And thank you each and every one of you that voted on that poll because it was a, a huge turnout for Game of Thrones. So, yeah, I said, what should I sh uh, live stream tomorrow? So, out of 2,000 people, 13% uh, of the poll which is like 200 people wanted to see episode 3 of the High Elves campaign. That was in last place. Second last with 1100 AD, with 21%, Imperium Serectum with 23 and Game of Thrones, just generally, Medieval 2, with a whopping 43%. So, what's that, about 800 people? Also wanted to see um, Game of Thrones. So, here today, we're going to talk about house of the dragon in the sense only up to episode four so feel free to ask me any questions about it um and we might even talk up to maybe some lord of the rings here as well uh some people got a little bit pissed off with me talking about like future stuff that hasn't happened in the tv series from that last series so i won't try and do that again but the dance of dragons like has been a story from like 20 like, it's been like there was even like animated stuff like 2030. I thought it was sort of generally like known sort of the, the story. If you're watching a game, if you're watching a House of the Dragon campaign when Rhaenyra and Damon are in their 30s and 40s, like you're going to get spoilers. Like I don't know how you avoid that. But hey, scenings, we're starting things off here with the conquest in the Stepstones, which happened obviously uh, in the show. So we've got Damon here with Caraxes. So. Feel free to ask me anything. I'll try and answer it as best we can. But yeah, I'm really enjoying House of the Dragon. It's a lot of fun. Are the dragons in this mod? They sure are. But as you come on in, make sure to leave the video slash uh, stream a like. I'd really much appreciate it. I think that a campaign with Daemon Targaryen is absolutely great. Yeah, well, we focused on Rhaenyra in the last series, which you guys really enjoyed, where we, well, marched upon King's Landing, and we're setting the time period um, with the uh, Rogue Prince. So, looking at our family tree, we've only got Daemon. He has Dark Sister, the ancient Valyrian sword of House Targaryen. He has Caraxes, the worm dragon, the wormy boy. <laughs> Uh, obviously, of Targaryen blood, the Rogue Prince, 25 years of age, a 2467 star commander, not the most chivalry. <laughs> <Chivalric. laughs> I think he should have some dread, to be honest. God, especially what he did to the common people in King's Landing. I don't think he really gave him a proper trial, chopping him up left, right, and center. RTR, Austin, they didn't win the vote, but hey. It's not like there was like a 90 or 80 percent um, like winner on that poll. So I'm probably going to do some RTR in the future. But I'm really enjoying Game of Thrones at the moment. I'm really they sucked me back in. I'm back into the world of A Song of Ice and Fire. So I was tempted to even do maybe an Aegon's camp, an Aegon the Conquest campaign. I loaded that up. Sorry, it's a little bit late here today again. Um, the mod goddamn broke. Also, please take into consideration, we have any game crashes or corruptions. For some reason, the Fire and Blood, people have a lot of problem with this mod. I've never tried to live stream it before, and I have several crashes when recording, so I have to, like, edit that out. So, we live, baby. Uh, hopefully, we 
don't have any uh, crazy crashes or anything, but we'll have to see how we go. It's very unstable for me. Can you do a Roberts Revealing campaign, Manuel? Yep, good suggestion. That was on the list as well. Um, I don't think I've ever done... Because I think most of the Game of Thrones mods were basically from the Clash of Kings from up to the Winds of Winter. But the Fire and Blood mod, pretty good. We can play a variety of time periods. I'm thinking maybe doing Aegon's Conquest. Like, this won't be... I don't think this campaign will be too overly long. But we'll see how we go. It depends if you guys enjoy it. We can... I think our, I think our short sort of victory condition, what we want to do, is defeat the three daughters. Oh, we're actually at war with House Martell. That's a little bit strange. Well, I guess Damon, if he's successful, is going to crown himself King of the Narrow Sea, and we might go down sort of an alternative timeline and betray Viserys and Rhaenyra and take King's Landing uh, for ourselves. So let's have a look at what we're working with. We've got Caraxes, of course. We've got Damon. Oh, sorry, we've got some Dragon Knights here. And Dragon Swordsman. Sorry if I <laughs> stuffed up. I caught a bloody Dragon David there. <laughs> My apologies if I get a couple words wrong here and there. I had leg day today, so I'm a little bit fried in the old brain. But it's all good now. i got two days off. I don't have to work out, which is fucking sick. But, uh, yeah, it's also 2 o'clock in the morning here in Australia. So, all right. Um, Age of Petty Kings. It's been a while since I've played that, Sebastian. I'm back to got mods in games like CK2 because of House of the Dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. House Martell supported the Triarchy. Okay. Well, we might have to deal with them in the south because they're not actually fully conquered by the uh, the Seven Kingdoms, eh? Well, enough chit-chat. Let's get stuck into some gameplay, I suppose. So, we've got High Watch here with some free city raiders. Scarwood as well. See if we can find... Uh, Drakar, Crab Feeder, whatever his name is. So let's get everyone up. So Corey's Valerian. The Sea Snake has currently brought his fleet with us. We don't have any Valerian, uh, Valerion uh, units with us. It seemed like in the show it was more of a, like a Valerion military campaign and mission rather than uh, Damon. He just like happened to be there. But that episode was probably my favourite of the series so far. So Tyrosh is to the north. So let's land with Damon and let's get our first battle of the series. Now we can attack straight away because we have Caraxes. So first initial fight. Let's just get stuck in. Cross the fingers. No, we don't get a game chat crash. Hello. Hey, Calvin. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Okay, let's start the deployment. Oh, God. Is Caraxes bugged? Why is he three dragons? No! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck it, I... I did a couple tests with this campaign just to make sure it's running properly. Like, I you have to you have to install this with oh no, he's bloody three dragons. All right, we're gonna break on in though. But yeah, no, I'm definitely down to maybe do some more campaigns and stream here and there. But dragons, if you guys can remember, are incredibly overpowered. In this series. Also as well, this mod for whatever reason is plagued with copyrighted music. Um, and every time you restart the game, we're, we're sort of shaking a bit here. Hang on, let's pause that. <laughs> so we can get in. We'll wait for these walls to crumble. Disable fire at will. Yeah, so for whatever reason, I can't seem to mute the game volume consistently. And um, hang on. Yes, yeah, so we wanted that. So move them back. Let's, uh, do we let Caraxes go in against the, the Triarchy? I suppose so. Or do we, no, we want to be a little bit safe. All right, let's send in Damon's units. Let's go, go, go. Oh, yeah, the point I was trying to make is, um, especially if you're live streaming, um, the last thing I want is the fucking stream to get yoinked. With, like, clips from the actual Game of Thrones show. 
or um, stuff. So I've just had to straight up mute everything and then just play some uncopyrighted Game of Thrones music. So unfortunately, that's what we had to do. But obviously, in my um, like when I played the Rhaenyra series, we were able to basically just edit out that stuff. And you guys wouldn't have noticed game crashes as well. But yeah. Is it just me, or is this Fire and Blood series just really unstable? I think it's just medieval too. But hey, also, I'm recording. I've got multiple programs running in the background as well. I forgot that that mod exists. Never tried it. Oh, Age of Petty Kingdoms. CK3 mods. Yeah, we could always go back to CK3. Um, people yesterday, when I was playing Warhammer, were trying to convince me to play more. CK CK two, um, the Game of Thrones mod. Yeah, maybe we should play a play um, as Aegon on that. It's been a while since I've played um, CK two. To be fair, good evening. Hey Georgie, how you doing? I'm sorry, uh, um, 1100 AD didn't win the poll. <laughs> it was close, but it's still definitely on the list. I may be biased, Rob Stark, but I think you should do another Stark campaign. Uh, everyone's a Stark at heart, aren't they? I can't wait to see more of the um, Starks in the House of the Dragon show. But yeah, it absolutely just dunks on that Lord of the Rings show. Holy shit. Like, episode one, we got to see like the shepherds in the dragon pit. We got to see bloody Dwalin. There's a King's Guard. It's great to see that Dwalin has a job. <laughs> you know, he plays one of the King's Guard from the Hobbit, that guy. <laughs> Since Bilbo disbanded the company. Um, I don't mind R young Rhaenyra. Otto. Manipulating his daughter. She can be a little bit iffy here and there, some of her acting, but she's pretty young. I, I, don't, I don't mind her. She's okay. She's an Australian, after all. Got to give... Uh, Merely the support, I suppose. All right, so Damon's House Targaryen Dragon Spearman are now on in. But let me know feedback and suggestions. Yeah, what do you guys think of House of the Dragon? Viserys, oh, Paddy Constantine's performance is amazing. It's so funny that he's in Hot Fuzz. He plays like the twins in Hot Fuzz. <laughs> but he's just such a sack of shit. He can't make a right decision. That's why I kind of like him. And I'm surprised how much I like Matt Smith as well, to be fair. I can't really get any, like, Doctor Who or, like... He was actually pretty good in the crowd, but, it, yeah. I didn't think I could get, sort of, Doctor Who out of my head. <laughs> but he's a pretty good actor. He's a great Damon Targaryen. Like, he's such a fucked up character, <laughs> Damon. But, um... Yeah. I like him a lot. Second episode, I was actually a little bit meh on. Like, I think it was just mostly... There was some weird sh There was some, like... <laughs> Of uh, weird shit with uh, uh not Lainor. Is it Lainor Velaryon? I can't remember the, the the whatever the female name is. But uh, yeah, trying to get her married off. Episode three was probably my favorite episode as well. When uh, we finally got to see a proper King's Wood Hunt. It's hilarious that apparently George like. Ah, uh, Martin, that was one of the major things you wanted to see in this. Along with, like, colourful heraldry and stuff. But, yeah. I always found it fucking stupid that they <laughs> had, like, three blokes walking around the forest with Robert Baratheon with a fucking spear <laughs> in that Game of Thrones show with, like, Renly. But, yeah, it was a really good... That was a really, really good episode. And then we obviously got, in episode four, Rhaenyra being a baddie. <laughs> We got to see some uh, action with Sir Christian. Which I thought Sir Christian Cole was a Stormlander. He's from the Dornish Marches. I thought he was a Stormlander. I didn't actually think he was Dornish, but I think they reckoned him to be Dornish in the show. To be fair. Nice. Well, looks like the Targaryens in our first operation here in the Stepstones. We've won a glorious victory. Only losing six men. 
Caraxes breaking down the walls, giving us the win. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Nice to see you playing Got Mods again. Yeah, what is this? 2013? <laughs> yeah, I took a... Like, basically... My enjoyment for Game of Thrones, like... Notably started going downhill from, like, the start of Season 4. And I think just sort of my enjoyment for those mods as well. They sort of dried up as well. Sort of some of the development on them. Like, whatever happened to that Seven Kingdoms mod... It's actually good morning for SimC Law. It actually is. Because it's 2.15 in the morning. You're just right. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Still my evening. But High Watch has fallen to the Rogue Prince. There's not enough people in there to exterminate. So they follow the Seven. Interesting. All right, so uh, let's yeah, let's save it. Hot D two, that'd be cool. But even like alt tabbing in this game just feels sketchy. But as you guys come on in, make sure to leave the stream slash future video a like. Once these streams end, it'll be uploaded as a video. So come and go as you please. It'll be um, up once the stream is done. But yeah, if you definitely want to see more Game of Thrones on the channel. Support it, and I'll do more. I do sort of judge how well different games and series and stuff do with these live streams. So, yeah, that's all I ask. If you want to see more of it, just like it. If you don't dislike it, it's a great way for me to gauge otherwise. It's great seeing this world again, Sebastian. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I'm, I'm happy being back in A Song of Ice and Fire. I did, honestly... Did you hear how pessimistic I was in that fucking first step? That, that, like, I did the series before the show came out, and I was just like, I can't take it. Jon Snow has been bleeding on the fucking wall for, like, ten years. <laughs> we haven't got a new book. I can't, I can't fucking have a Game of Thrones show be bad. Also, that's mad that they're doing a Game of Thrones... They're doing a Jon Snow reboot, like, after season... I don't know what the fuck... They're going to do with it. Like, how is that going to be a show? Like, honestly. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, are they going to have him just, like, hang out with a bunch of wildlings? Is he going to go to, the, like, uh, what's up here? Is it is it here? Where is it? Skagos with the cannibals? Yeah, here. Or Skagos, or whatever you want to fucking call it. Is he going to, like, kill Night King 2 up here? Like, is he just going to go down and kill Bran? <laughs> like, what, what, what the fuck? Oh, God. Like, I wonder what's going to happen in the books, like... Is Bran going to be this, like, weird Borg, like, Star Trek hive mind, like, Borg queen? But, like, I don't know. Tyrion at the end of that last season. Who has a better story than, than Bran the Broken? Literally anyone. Fucking anyone had a better fucking story than Bran <laughs> that last season. Oh, God. But I reckon they're going to do a Nymeria series. Have you thought of playing a game called Tom Clancy's End of War? It's RTNS game. I don't know. I, I'm not really into Tom Clancy. Isn't there... Isn't there there's a show of that. Um, I've never... I, I don't think I ever really played those games when I was younger. My mum and I love House of the Dragon. Okay. <laughs> that fourth episode must have been pretty fucking awkward then, but... No, that's good. Have you ever thought about doing a detailed tutorial on how to s install Game of Thrones mods? Because there are people like me. Uh, I just went on YouTube and have a look <clears throat> at some other uh, mods. Like Medieval 2 is... It, it's like every single modder has a different way of doing it. This mod in particular... You need to download it. Download the patch. Make sure you add it like... The, I watched... I don't even know who it was. Just Google um, on YouTube, Fire and Blood tutorial. There was this one guy that had like 88 subs. Um, oh God, we got fucking spam here. Hang on. Yeah, this one's a little bit tricky because you have to like, um, copy your Medieval 2 execu executable, change it to Kingdoms, and then 
run a four gigabyte um, patch over the top of it. So there's a couple steps to it that I, I remembered I had to go double check, but there's plenty of other people. I don't need to make the tutorials. Well, so you, you sort of just got to have make a guess of it. It also depends what version of Windows you're playing. Like this, I don't even know what, I've got one of the later versions of Windows. Um, Medi my Medieval 2 has been like fucked for like a year and a, like two years because of it. So, it's very hard to troubleshoot. You just sort of got to figure these things out yourself. It's, I know it's shit here and that and it's hard, but you just got to sort of figure it out. But it, there are pretty detailed explanations on the mod DB for Fire and Blood. You can read through it. And there are tutorials. I do know there's two for this. But everyone does their stuff differently. Um, for example... Uh, Divide and Conquer, that's like slightly different as well. So, as long as you just read through the text file and maybe just look at tutorial to get a general idea. But not everyone's tutorial is accurate, but those seem to be. Even I had problem reinstalling this mod because it crashed before. I actually hardcore supported Damon in the first episode. You should never let bad people run around in your city. Were they bad? Like, do, do we know that they were bad people? <laughs> if I could cut someone in half. Makes you look weak, Damon would make a great hand. Yeah. He's also just like a bit sadistic, though. I heard it's a limited series, the Jon Snow show. I hope Daenerys is revived by the priests. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Because, like, are they going to bring, like, the people back? Like, what the fuck? Anyway. Let's, uh, continue on. Yeah, I probably should get those bowmen there. We leave the halberds, I suppose. Uh, can we move you here? Oh, shit, hang on. Fuck, hang on. Ah, uh, we'll wait a turn. Okay, so I can't even... Hang on. Oh, I need to... Do it like this. So, what can we even get here? Like, do we... Oh, they're quite unhappy. So, we're going to have to get, like... God, I haven't even looked at the building chains for these. I'm assuming we're going to need like a sept or something. Yeah, we need to get a small sept to get the seven down here in the step stones. Why? Have I, have I stuffed up here? Have I got it on auto management this series for some reason? Oh, it's fucking cringe, but it's okay. It's not game breaking. We just can't put it to super low tax, right? All right, uh, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Cole and Dane, we can adopt? No. End of turn report. The Dothraki have the largest army in the world. Okay. We have the up there with the financial production population with Tyrell. Okay, so they've moved an army out here. Uh, let's just move you back because I want to try and get those archers out. And we'll leave the halberds there. Okay, so let's get some cell swords. We have the money, so we uh, might as well. Okay, well, let's disembark. And let's tra take scar wood, I suppose. And we'll let them come in as reinforcements. So mostly just trying to find free city swordsmen at the moment. Let's fight this one. But so far, it's going to be pretty hard for these men of the free cities to really stop Damon when he's got Caraxes, a bloody nuclear uh, weapon. Burn. Yeah, I don't know why it's bugged. Maybe this particular version it's bugged. The other dragons weren't, for whatever reason. 
We should be able to decimate them from range. There goes the first initial general. Nice. And where are you over here? Okay, let's just send our cavalry over there. Uh, they are like an unsullied unit, so maybe we don't. Maybe we just send Caraxes. Got to be careful because this is um, Damon's one and only dragon. He's not going to steal any more dragon eggs, I don't think. Almost all of the sieges in a GOT series are just a joke. Yeah. The siege of... Oh, God. The high garden was like crap in the show. Fucking Casterly Rock looks shit as well. Yeah, those sieges were pretty bad. The Battle of the Blackwater, do you count that as a siege? That wasn't too bad. I didn't mind that. Nice. We're putting these... Essos... Falls to the sword. Well, to dragon fire, I suppose. I suppose. Fear cuts deeper than swords. Sedio Farrell. Yeah, do you reckon he's still alive? Maybe. That's like a theory, isn't it? That he's, um... Jack and Hagar. So far, seems to be pretty stable at the moment. Cross their fingers and hope touch wood. We haven't had a game crash. But look at all the trade lanes that are flowing through the stepstones here. I'm sure Corliss Valarian. <laughs> We'll be happy. <laughs> that uh, trade will be flowing back and around. <laughs> okay, let's leave another unit of halberds here. And we've got those cell swords coming as well. Okay, we're going to have to wait. We might be able to sack Dawn, to be fair. But yeah. Back onto the topic of the Aegon the Conquest campaign. I've never actually played as Aegon on the Fire and Blood mod. It's a rebel army there. It's mostly so it's quite big. Yeah, maybe I'm better off to play, for example, as Aegon on, like, CK2. Because it is a little bit uh, weird that if we were to play it on this mod, we're actually like conquering and taking the Seven Kingdoms rather than subjugating them. So here is Varos. Is Crab Feeder actually here as a unit or is it more law friendly? I don't know. Anyway, let's fight another battle before we get all the step stones under our control. Now I guess we push to Lease. So, see, do you like? The new map for RTR Imperium Ceramicum, so uh, 900 plus settlements. I haven't actually played it, so I don't know. But is it is it publicly available or is there only access to YouTubers? I actually don't even know. I haven't loaded up or tried to play it. Like, is it on Steam? Like right now, can people just go and play it? But it looks cool. Like I love the fact that if you were to play as like Rome. Like, it will legitimately take you a full-on, like, campaign to take a province. Like, it's not like, oh, okay, four or five settlements in Greece. Like, you actually have to properly, like, have a full-on military campaign. Because there's, like, 30-plus regions. Like, pushing into a province, you're, it's actually going to take time. Like, 
a campaign like that is going to take months. That'd be cool to live stream. I could definitely see myself playing as Rome. But... The only problem is I take my time with campaigns sometimes. And sometimes I don't finish a campaign before they update certain stuff. So that was my problem. The last RTR Imperium Serectum campaign I did had to save Corruption because they updated the mod, which is fair enough. But I feel like I, I get save Corruptions on that modern campaign in particular, but I think it's just my PC. But I get it. I'm the fucking weirdo that wants to record and put stuff out. Most people just want to get the updated version of the mod. I completely get that. That's the only problem. You can never finish a campaign before it gets updated. The new update came out a few days ago. Yeah, but like, can you... Is it? Is it actually fully out? Like, if I was to download RTR Imperium Sectum right now and play it, will I have access to that huge map and 900 settlements? Like I've seen people do videos. I don't. I don't know if it's YouTube, like YouTube access or whatever. I haven't. I've <laughs> been up to date with it. Uh, clearly, Stannis was a military genius, but the siege wasn't so good for a huge city like him. Ah, uh, King's. Land. Well, the problem is with Stannis. He's got outnumbered. He wasn't expecting the fucking Tyrells and Tywin Lannister to come in. Like in the books, he got fucked. Then obviously they pulled up the chain. It, w it wasn't just like the wildfire. The fucking chain like... Um, like fucked Stannis as he went into the Blackwater. Went like full Constantinople on his ass. Yeah, but Stannis the Manus, the one true king of Westeros. Yes, please live stream that. Yeah, it's on the list. Hey guys, hey Jamal, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. They also remade some of the Greek units. Now they look better than some of the Rome 2 models. Yeah, no, um, if you want to see a fucking 16-year-old Simpsy, uh, on, what was it? It would be the other channel now, technically, but back in the day, I played the original Roma Serectum 2. I was so, so young, but no, I'm a massive fan. It's crazy to make, think that, like, it's been 10 years now, and then Rome Remaster came out, <laughs> and, um, Imperium Serectum is back. And there's like a new generation that have taken it up. Uh, Apple and Ahow11 have um, absolutely done a marvel. I think like the old guy that made the Imperium Rectum stuff was like 60 or something when he made the, the first mod of it. So it's great to see those guys take up the torch. But man, I really appreciate modders. They put so much hard work in to stuff and make these awesome mods for us to enjoy. Uh, I certainly wouldn't have the patience for it. Definitely a virtue. It's snowing in the Stepstones, which is kind of fucking weird. I don't know why, <laughs> why that's happening. What mod? This, uh, Fire and Blood for Medieval 2. No, I meant the update comes out after a few days, but this month. Pyramid, yes, okay, right, yeah. Yeah, so it isn't. I just yet. But I'm in the Discord. I just haven't fucking checked. I could probably play it if I wanted to. I played all the other versions before they came out. I might just have to look into it. Okay. Well, Damon is sending in his Dragon Guard. So once we've got the Stepstones fully under our control, where should we go? Where should we expand and conquer? Should we go into Dawn? Try and bring the Dornish to heal. Maybe taking Sunspear. Do we go to Lys? Or Tyrosh? Take their capitals? Or should we march upon King's Landing? After Damon crowning himself King of the Narrow Sea, he uses his title as King to uh, take the Iron Throne. I do quite like that he brought the hammer of crab feet and was like, add it to the others. And here's the crown. <laughs> that was like a reference to like Barris and Selmy as well. Dude, they did him dirty in the show. 
I'm so gutted that they killed him. Although all that stuff with Daenerys in the East, in my opinion, isn't the most overly interesting in the books. Like, I just feel like constantly you just want to see her in Westeros doing stuff. Jeez, but they cut so much of it in the goddamn show. Also, I can't believe they recasted Dario Naharis. Like, I remember watching that for the first time. I had to do a double take. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, they, they, <laughs> they literally got someone that looked nothing like the last guy. Here's another one. They did Dario Naharis dirty. <laughs> Yeah, in the books it was a good siege. Sack Sunspear. Alright, people want me to sack Sunspear. One percent. Killed 87 of them. The men of the Triarchy are making us work for it. The countdown has been initiated. There shouldn't be too many remaining. But I'm curious to see where this, when this first season's going to end in House of the Dragon. Like, isn't it meant to be like a three, four season show? Apparently, depending on how well it's received, which I'm assuming is pretty fucking good, like, I imagine it's making a shit ton of money for HBO. They're probably going to do an Aegon's Conquest prequel, like, before that. Or they might do, dude, what I really wanted to see was the second Blackfire Rebellion um, with Blood Raven and stuff. That's what I would like to see. I was actually a little bit iffy about the Dance of Dragons, but yeah. I haven't read the Fire and Blood book like fully. I know bits and pieces and stuff, but when it came out, I was sort of burnt out about Game of Thrones. Like, fuck off. I don't want to read this. <laughs> I already know the fucking... Um, like, story, like the plot points. It's been a thing for years. There's a pretty cool animated thing. It, it came out even when the Game of Thrones show. It's, like, voiced by Viserys, is in, like, Daenerys's brother Viserys. Like, yeah, go watch that if you want to see, like, future stuff about the Dance of Dragon. It's pretty good. If House Valerian is here, ally with them take over the coastal settlements and build a navy yeah they only seem to be with their ships i think it's more like book it's, it's aligned like in the game of thrones they definitely seemed like it was um Corlys valerian and his brothers and sons like operation it looked like it was mostly their army there when i think it, in the books it's a little bit like ambiguous as whose forces are there but in this mod, it seems like Damon's Targaryen units are here. Are you watching Rings of Power? Yeah, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm going to watch it tomorrow. I think I might give up on that show. That last three hours I watched was the biggest waste of time. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's just so goddamn boring. I'm blown away how that got released. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, I think I'm done. But hey, maybe that show might come good. <laughs> maybe. But if I was as much of a Lord of the Rings fan as a Song of Ice and Fire fan and that shit was put out, I, I'd i fucking lose it, I reckon. Some people like it, but I can't stand it. Like, those that three hours is the biggest fucking waste of time. Like, I find, like, no redeeming qualities in it at all. Okay, we got some... I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority. 
Maybe some people like it. If anything, the elf guy seems to be the more most interesting. I don't even know his name. Okay, we probably should get rid of this rebellion before it attacks or something. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, that's meant to come. Wait, that's coming out soon. It comes out like ten hours. The next one. God. I don't know. Do you agree? Disagree? Look. Don't not watch the show if you want to, or listen to what I have to say. I'm just telling you, I am my, my opinion. I'm very disappointed with it. All right, so we could go to Sun. Wait, no, this is Spot. Well, this is Sunspear here. Oh, we can actually see the territory now. Okay. So, we could go to lease, liberate the women in the, uh, well, pleasure houses, I suppose. Then we got Tyrosh here as well. I think we go against the Triarchy, because it's these cities here, isn't it? It's Mir, Tyrosh, and lease, And this that is quite literally the, tri the Triarchy. I think we go to Lease because, oh no, actually hitting here is probably going to threaten my stuff more. We can get a Septon, it's probably not a bad idea. Let's get a couple of those in. But like, even the fucking Hobbit man had some charm. Like even, like that book is basically a musical. <laughs> like, but, I don't know. I feel like, like, not everything that George R. R. Martin wrote is fucking sacred and good. Like, you gotta cut some stuff. Like, the Tom Bombadil stuff. Thank God they cut that shit from The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but I don't know. Just that show, like... Oh, God, I can't... Honest... Uh, controversial. This is probably... Um, gonna <laughs> put people up the wrong way. But honestly... The Hobbits in The Lord of the Rings are my least favourite aspect of Lord of the Rings. Like, I could give a shit about the Hobbits and the Halfwoods. I'm more interested in, like, the men and the Rohirrim and the Gondorians and stuff, personally. But, like, watching that Halfwood stuff, I'm like, why? Oh, God. Like, I could... I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> why does everyone talk like this as well? <laughs> oh, God. And then, like, there's fucking Gandalf. Like, what the fuck's that meant to be? Oh, God. Like, I thought they were going to... What is... Well, I thought they were going to do, like, Morgoth stuff. Like, Melkor. Like, I thought they were going to do, like, that. Where, like, the tree gets attacked by a giant fucking spider. No, nah, they just... Zip, zip past that. Can't stand the fucking dwarves. Elrond I, looks like the guy from Oblivion that you fucking get after finishing the arena. Grand champion. <laughs> looks like that fucking guy. Like, Galadriel. Whatever. Doing that sick fucking move on the troll. I couldn't stand that. Like, uh, we probably need to get rid of this fleet. How do I disembark here? So what's that? That's a bigger army. Damon should be fine, though. If he can dismount and attack. Alright, we're going to push them back. I guess we besieged Tyrosh, but... Like, she's, like, swimming... Like fucking from Valinor, like bloody Gendry. Just just swimming. Just keep swimming. What else is in that show? Uh, to be fair, I can't remember the elf's name. Whatever his name is, he's the more interesting character. Oh, they also had the guy from... Um, he plays a Roman in that Spartacus show. He's not too bad, like the outpost. Like, I actually was kind of interested in that, that like the elves were kind of like... A little bit like race to these like villages because they fought with Morgoth. I thought that was it. I actually thought that was sort of interesting, that sort of stuff. And I thought like if people started going missing from the town, he's like investigating, like what's happened to the cow? What are these scratches? What's I thought it was actually going to be very like Witcher in the sense that like this guy can like he's trying to figure out what's happening to the village. Like I think I thought that would be actually kind of cool. That'd be like sort of a Witcher mission. He's trying to figure out that there's orcs under the fucking village or something. I don't know if I can know, but it's like even that just like skipped ahead really quick. Um, this was also in, like, the other, like, other Lord of the Rings. Like, all the, all the orcs are cockney. <laughs> yeah, what about them? They don't need those legs. <laughs> they brought that over. So I was like, oh, okay. I guess they're doing that. Um, let's do a save. 
and then attack Tyrosh, I suppose. But I, I'm not the type of person that wants stuff to be bad, but like, I just like a bad, like if it's not good, I just abandon shows. It's just like, yeah. All right, let's, uh, yeah, Barrison sell me in the books was a good character. An honourable one, but in the series he just came out and died. Yeah, well, even that there was wasn't there like a run I can remember. It's been so long since Game of Thrones books. Wasn't didn't he get like he's like? Do you know when he threw the sword at Joffrey and left? Like wasn't there like a chase scene? <laughs> like didn't am I misremembering that? Didn't he get like chased out of King's Landing <laughs> and had to like fucking escape? Did he kill someone? I can't even remember. But I remember just being like he was like popping up in Essos. I was like very underwhelmed. All right, let's start uh, breaking down this settlement. I'm not afraid to disagree. I'm not afraid to disagree, but also very high. What? I don't understand. You should try Zardom's Total War mod for the Byzantines. It's quite challenging. Uh, what year in history is that? Is it like 1500s or something? Or 1600s? Is it Pike and Shot Gunpowder? I've been recommended that mod. But, uh... Yeah, honestly, um, I haven't really looked into it. I've heard it's good. There's a, there are some pretty good um, Empire mods for Medieval too. Uh, I'm not a lore guy. Tolkien's work at all. Maybe that's why I've enjoyed the show thus far. I'm not. A, yeah, well, I'm. I'm not a. I just want a good show. Like, I don't. I'm a little bit like. I ain't all like that in Game of Thrones. That's not that's not the right house doing that. <laughs> but like, oh, what's like a, what's like a major difference that pissed me off? I think like swapping the um the some of the Brotherhood without banners. Oh, that's it. G Gendry didn't fucking do that. Edric Storm. <laughs> it's like I want to see Edric Storm. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I was a little bit like that. But I guess they, like, cut him. Where's... Where's Robert's fucking bastards? Where, where's... Where are they? Where's the stone one from the bail? Elise? And Elise? I don't fucking can't remember her name. Where's her? Like, I, yeah. But I'm not, like, a big fucking Lord of the Rings lore guy. Like, I enjoyed the shows. I just felt like... I don't know. I just felt... I actually kind of feel like I sort of grew, grew out on Lord of the Rings. Like, grew out of it. Like, I enjoyed the ga- Like, I enjoyed, like, the Lord of the Rings game. Like, that's fun. Like, the Third Age stuff, but... I don't know. I never really went down the bloody... Lord of the Rings... Bloody... Rabbit hole compared to, like, Game of Thrones. Like, I've watched a couple lore videos and stuff. It's just... I don't know. It's not my type of thing. But, like, I wanted to see the fucking Shire get, like sacked by Saruman. I got rid of that. Would have liked to see that. Gandalf coming back is a bit stupid. But that's been a thing for ages before, like, George R. R. Martin said that. I don't know. Like, I'm not the guy that's going to start fucking speaking Elvish on you. But hey, everyone's each to their own. If you want to build a long series and have many seasons and pay a shit ton of money, why not include Morgoth? Yeah, I just don't know what the fuck they're doing anyway. I feel like it's from a lot of these modern shows. Like, they're trying to please everyone. And then they end up pleasing nobody. Like, they try to make it so that um, six-year-old girls can look up to a woman, which is fine. It's like, whatever. I don't care about that. And then, you like, you want to make the eight-year-old boys interested. Then you've got the 13-year-olds. And then you've got 16-year-olds. Then you want the fucking 40-year-old women. And then, like... The twenty-year-old people like us that are probably watching this stream—it's like you just like scattergunning approach of everything, and then you make no one fucking happy. Do you know what I mean? Like that's why I think like the new Star Wars, Marvel, like that—I think they just try to please too many people. 
But hey, it sometimes like shows just aren't your type of shows. I don't know. But I, I'm pretty. If I stop enjoying shows, not, I don't even know if I'm gonna watch the new episode. Like, it, to be fair, maybe if you were to not watch the next couple seasons of Rings of Power and just like go on YouTube and watch like clips, like <laughs> that might be cool. I knew some people that fucking did that. Like, I ain't watching The Hobbit. I hated the first one. They just watched the fucking clips on YouTube, <laughs> and you get like a little bit of enjoyment out of it. Been very ranty here today, but hey. <laughs> That's the whole point of being a YouTuber <laughs> and streaming stuff. Just talking mad fucking shit. <laughs> uh. It's fun. Like, to be fair, I actually really liked the, um, the first Shadow of War game. Like, I thought that was good. Like, Calabrimbor being a prick. Like, the Nemesis system. That was a really fun... But my god, they also fucked that game as well. Like, I don't want to spoil that game, but the ending of that game, it basically, like, ruined the whole game. I was like, what, what was the point of that then? Like, it's like... Actually, I might need to move the dragon in. We're going to struggle to push here. I'm not fucking... Mm. Because we're going to struggle to push through that. I'm going to pull back. Oh, shit. Where's Damon here? You fucking got me talking about Lord of the Rings. I'm not concentrating. Uh, yeah, pull back. We we want to pull back here and then get uh, Caraxes up. Oh god, we were friendly firing a lot of us there. Shit. Uh, I don't even know what the point I was making now. Oh yeah, the Shadow of War games. Yeah, Shadow, the, uh, Shadow of Mordor, the first one, that's what it's called. Shadow of War's the second one. But, like... Yeah, they also made bloody Shelob like a woman. Like, what? Like a, a witch? <laughs> like... Like, what the fuck is that? They got, like, a new Golem game coming out. Like, who the fuck's gonna play... Oh, God. Like, I just wish the next title um, or license Lord of the Rings get, uh, get uh, Creative Assembly gets is um, Lord of the Rings. Like, I think they would do the game justice. But, I don't know. Not everyone's the biggest fan of Warhammer, I suppose. So, maybe not. But, like, yeah, I could definitely see them doing it. They've been pretty open about it. There's a documentary on their YouTube channel somewhere that says, hey, after this Warhammer Fantasy license, we've... Some, someone, some higher up at C actually said it. It's on YouTube. Like, you can go see it. He goes, we've proven that we can take a license and do it... For, I'm going to misquote him. I don't know the quote exactly. But it was like, we actually have... Like, we can take a license, we can add it to our game and make a product for it. Like, he goes, so we can do that for Lord of the Rings... Um, and there was a couple other IPs they suggested as well. So it's like, like if you think this, if if you think, oh, they should do a Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones game, they're more than likely thinking that um, in house as well. You'd imagine the animated Lord of the Rings show. I I haven't really looked into that. Is that the Ro... I think that meant... It's got to be something to do with the Rohirrim or early Rohirrim or something, isn't it? One of the things I liked about the Hound is redeeming himself. Okay. Shadow of War slash Shadow of Mordor does not give a fuck about the law. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just... Like, as long as... Like, I don't care, like, if Shelob is a woman. As long as it's a good, like, story element. But it wasn't. It's like, what the fuck is this? Let's brew or we want Medieval 3. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. If I took my money. On the next one's probably Victoria. Or Medi uh, Empire 2. That's what I kind of want, to be fair. I don't think we're getting a Medieval 3 for a while. Nice. So we've taken Tyrosh now. Damon, the rogue prince, living up to the name, going on a fucking tirade. 
But also, guys, if you haven't already, if you've come on in, make sure to leave the stream slash future video a like. I would uh, really much appreciate it. If you want to see more House of the Dragon or Medieval 2 Game of Thrones mods, support it and uh, I'll do more. Okay, let's repair. We're losing his chivalry. Which is good, I suppose. Trade routes to the free cities. Okay, cool. Uh, are we meant to be... Breaking down some of these buildings? I don't even know. The fountain of the drunken god. <laughs> the god of tits and wine. Hilarious. Oh god. More spammers. Alright, nice to drop in. It's bedtime. See you, Dalton. Uh, thanks for participating in the stream. Good night. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, so I guess we... Can we go after this ship now? Get Callus of Valerian, the sea snake, to go after them. Nice. Alright, let's leave these halberds here. And let's... Mobilize again. Still got plenty of money. Uh, let's move... This sept in here. Because we still need to convert the uh, populace. Okay, so... What's up here? Mir. Do we go to Mir? Or Lease? Can we actually see... Hang on. How much territory do they have? They've only got... Oh, that might be three. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, let's move north. I think. I think we go here with Damon. Alright, cool. Let's continue on. But so far, we've been successful in the Stepstones. And we're going after the uh, major cities of the Triarchy. To hopefully fully crush it. Dismantle it once and for all. So Valarian can still trade his... I don't know, what the fuck is he trading? Spices and shit? I don't fucking know. Rings of power is hot garbage. Uh, yeah, I agree. Malekith. This is a Medieval 2 mod? Yes, it is, Shrek. Shrek's son. My god. Oh, here's their faction leader. Free City Longbowman. Uh... Damon's going to have a little bit of a hard time with this one. But hopefully, Caraxes can go to town. Got a merchant here. Interesting. So, how much of the f regions have we can. Like, how much of the faith have we converted here? Uh, it doesn't really say. Okay. Let's do hot D4. But also. What kind of pisses me off with, like, these new TV shows, I can't stand stuff that comes out weekly. Like, I'd much rather sit down and binge stuff. I can't be the only one that's like that. Apparently, they do it because they make more money. Like... Hang on, what's going on here? Yeah, they make more money doing stuff week to week to week. Like, they build hype on Twitter, they can sell ads and promotion, and there's more stuff around it and, and it, it stays in the sort of cultural zeitgeist for more weeks than it would be for like what, what the net what netflix does and just fucking dumps it all at once but no i would much rather everything come out and then binge stuff but especially with the rings of power show like that show goes like what 20 25 minutes more than house of the dragon and, like, how can, like, like, especially doing it weekly, like, how the fuck can you justify that for what they're putting out? I'm gobsmacked, to be honest. Like. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, let's build some ports, I suppose. Like, actually getting trade here is probably not a bad idea. Like, it's just, like, so fucking boring. I don't know. I need to stop shitting on it because I'm probably upsetting people. Do you like Lord of the Rings mod for Medieval 2? I haven't played it since, like, way, way back in the day. But I do love the Elder Scrolls. Love that universe. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed my time replaying. Uh, oh, we pushed that army out. That's just pretty good. Skyrim. Uh, back earlier this year. Uh, I guess we get rid of their faction leader. The Magister of Mia. Uh, let's fight this one. But, uh, yeah. They're, they're pretty dated, though. But, no, there's a Skyrim campaign. Uh, I think there's a high off campaign potentially. I remember playing as the Orcs and the Empire, of course. Had a pretty cool um, mountain blade. Warband series. Uh, playing on a Elder Scrolls mod. Like, I know a little bit about the lore, but nowhere near as much as Game of Thrones, but... Yeah, bro. Oblivion was, like, my first RPG that I played and fell in love with, and it's, like, bro. I was, like, 12 when it came out. Dude, I spent so many hours on Oblivion. Like, I love Oblivion. I never played that on the channel. Like, the stories and quests from Oblivion are so much better than Skyrim. It's just a little bit dated, which is a shame. Like, you really have to mod it. But, uh... Yeah, the Dark Brotherhood questline, and that's so fucking good. Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Uh, yeah, I think I was playing that. It's been a while. Yeah, I think it was SE that I was modding. We, um... There are streams you can go find if you really want to watch them. They're pretty long, though. Oh, God. Camera's shaking here. Alright, try and hit this stuff further at the back. But, yeah, no, we played as a Nord. Statsvar elf killer. <laughs> a Nord that hated elves. There's even some funny shorts that I got somewhere on the YouTube channel page. You want to go check them out if you don't have time for the full streams but yeah we played random start um we randomed and gnawed uh, starting off with the companions which is pretty cool and we did we did another character with the dark brotherhood we did the thieves guild as well did the main story uh we played a bunch of quests it was a lot of fun Okay, let's push in and take uh, Mir. Like, I don't know how you stop dragons in this mod without other dragons. <laughs> like, it must be so hard. Did you know that the actor... Who played Ned Stark voice the dialogue of Martin Septim? Yeah, Sean Bean. Yeah. The guy that plays the Emperor as well. There's someone. There's a lot of actually famous voice actors in Oblivion. Obviously, I didn't know back in the day. But yeah, I know who Sean Bean is. Pretty cool. Alright. If we're successful here today, we've taken out the Three Sisters faction leader. And we've probably 
crushed, defeated, and disabled the Triarchy once and for all. They're fighting with Unsullied, which is kind of cool. The yeah, arrow doesn't use dragons very effectively, so you can kill them. Yeah, I haven't really faced any... Dr like, I'm trying to think. When I played as Rhaenyra last time, and Daemon, it's very hard to lose to, because they have 18 dragons compared to Aegon and the Greens. Like, they have like six or so. I was just trying to think. If you don't have dragons, how the fuck do you bring them down? Like, how do you kill them? Like, can, can you even? Do you have to have, like, scorpions or some shit? I don't know. My first RPG was Morrowind. Yeah, I've never actually uh, played Morrowind. I've heard the quests are good as well in that, but even that must be even more dated. When did Morrowind come out? I'm probably a little bit too young for Morrowind. Alright. Another decent victory. What is dead may never die. But rises again, harder and stronger. Oh god, even that in the Rings of Power shit. Like, they... See that? that like, what is it? The Seer's always right. Like, even that was fucking stupid. Where, like, the Maori Numenorians are on the beach. <laughs> I just, like, I just don't know why I didn't... They just seem like fucking Kiwis. I don't know, I just didn't... They didn't seem very Numenorian to me. The sea is always right. It's like... It's like one of these mottos. Like, what's... What's the... We do not sow... And then, like, the Greyjoys have a bunch of... Because in Game of Thrones, there's, like, the official house models, and then there's, like, the unofficial ones. Like, uh, I think House Lannisters hear me roar, but, like, as rich as a Lannister isn't their official quote. 2003, yeah. So I was, like, seven or four when the... Uh, seven or six when the... When Morrowind come out, I wasn't allowed to play those type of games, probably. Too young. Yeah, because I would have had my own laptop when, uh... Oblivion came out. I think I was 12 or 13, I can't remember. I was pretty young. God, they got a lot of forces here on the outskirts. Oh no, so maybe they have only got one um, settlement left. And then I guess we go to Sunspear. Bye. Maybe if I'm bored as shit tomorrow, I might watch Rings of Power, but I don't know. I think I've given it enough time, though. There's better shit to watch. Alright, we're gonna go out and attack this one. The casualties are starting to add up in Damon's campaign here. Uh, but they're a mod that improves the gap graphics, yeah. Maybe I should do that. Okay, let's uh, move here. Yeah. I feel like you gotta stream RPGs though, but I'm definitely open to doing it. A lot of you guys did enjoy the Skyrim series. Put Caraxes at the front here. But also, I feel like as well, RPGs are more fun to play. I don't know if they're the most... Uh, interesting to watch on YouTube. Oh my god, this is a really interesting... It's going to be a full online battle. Like, I feel like strategy games. That are so more... And battles and Total War stuff's more... Engaging. I don't know. I feel like when people, like, watch... RPGs... Um, like, they might be thinking, like, why, why don't I just play this myself? <laughs> Make my own decisions. I don't know. Maybe it's just my audience. Oh my god, Caraxes. Probably going to go for a record here on how many... Eastern... 
stepstone pirate bastards he can take out. Now Targaryen archers getting their shots off. Nice. Oh, that's it. In the new um, episode, there was a Blackwood and a Bracken fight. <laughs> that was so good to see. A house that didn't get any love, really, in the uh, Game of Thrones show. Uh, focus on this. Like, I guess the only Blackwood we saw was technically Blood Raven. Or, what are they? Did, I don't think they actually called him Blood Raven. They just called him the One Eye Crow, didn't they? In the show? I'm just trying to remember. Alright, let's continue on. But yeah. I do find that hilarious. Like, those two houses for like hundreds of years. <laughs> I've had a fucking grudge. Hilarious. Even the tournament was good. It was fucking wild. That was pretty good. Bro. Oh, 1,981. The blood worm nearly broke 2,000 kills. Holy shit. So, so close. here and pick up that maester and we'll try and bring some reinforcements in and then we'll push to uh, lease their last settlement oh Hugh Blackfire hmm I'm nearly tempted because we've yet to marry off Damon and having a Blackfire uh Bastard as his adopted son might be a good idea because at the moment, if Damon dies, this campaign ends. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Should I adopt Hugh Blackfire in this campaign? The Doth Rock here at war with Volantis, the Undead are at war with the Free Folk. Yeah, because even the bloody Night Kings in this. Oh, to be fair, the um, one of my major criticisms about. House of the Dragon is the prophecy. I, I, I can't stand that shit. 
Like, what, what? Why did you need to bring that up? Like, I think it's just a bit stupid that there's like some secret Valyrian prophecy that um, Aegon had. I, I'm not the biggest fan of that because it just reminds me of the bloody new season, the last season of um, Game of Thrones, where Arya stabbed the Night King with that dagger. Like that dagger, like the cat's paw dagger, whatever it's called, like isn't really a thing in the books. Like, I think Bay. Does ba uh, Peter Baelish have it in the fucking veil at the moment? Like, like Joffrey, um, like gave it to. S oh, I, I don't. Do they actually make that? Is that official? I think. I think Joffrey is is it heavily implied that he ordered the hit on Bran or whatever. Technically. You know why? Blood Raven was the commander of the watch and vanished north when Bran met him. He wears black. Yeah. I think we adopt this guy called Hugh Blackfire. I think that'd be cool. What? Adoption not completed. Hugh Blackfire. It would appear that this was not meant to be. Message of your offer of adoption has arrived to a funeral procession. This man has sadly and suddenly passed away. What? Got fucking Joffrey here. That is that a medieval two thing? What? <laughs> I, Daemon Targaryen, the rogue prince. I'm going to acknowledge you, my bastard. Ah, fucking dies. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, not good for him, then, I guess. Okay, let's uh, get a... secondary army going, I suppose. Yeah. But, I don't know. Like, especially with John, like, not killing the Night King. I guess he was influential in, like, uh, shepherding Aya there, but I don't know. I just hate that, like, fucking the whole... Oh, no, we had a game crash. <laughs> oh, shit, the first one. I just hate the whole, uh, we're gonna, um, subvert your expectations. I bet you didn't expect that, fucking D&D, &D, dumb and dumber. Let me have this. Let Jon Snow bloody kill the Night King. Alright, so, first game crash. Hour and 22 minutes in. Uh, could be worse. Luckily, I've been saving like a madman constantly. Alright, I'll be back momentarily. i got to restart this uh, goddamn game. Yeah, so even now, if you install the mod correctly... Like, it can still crash pretty hard. Yeah, I just think it's unstable. But maybe they're just doing heaps of... You know what I mean? Like, they're running heaps of stuff. Let's restart the music here, actually. Um, it's running bloody dragons and fucking... Like, so many units. Alright. Hang on a moment. Okay, yep, so it's not playing. That other stuff. Yeah, because even like loading into this, it can play like copyrighted music and clips and shit. So I'm like, can't show it on a live stream. Because you just get that shit yoinked. For some fucking reason. I pay the iron price, so I will take my crown. As Euron Red Hand did 5,000 years ago, okay. Yeah, like even with um, the Greyjoys, they kind of like stuffed them in the new. Like, even. I was a little bit crit critical of that. Like, Victarion wasn't in the show. Euron was fucking. Oh, God. was shocking. They also changed Yara's name. Like, Ash's name to Yara. I thought that was kind of stupid because 
the chick from Harry Potter, Forks or Fongs or whatever, became like a notable character. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. Hopefully it doesn't crash again though. How Stark and Frey at war. Hilarious. Okay, I think we're good. Another big army here. And then hopefully... This is the last we... We we'll have to deal with them. Can I? Hang on. Why can't I? Have we got any movement here? Oh, there's a weird deployable. I'm on the wrong side. Uh, maybe we do that then. All right, let's continue on. <laughs> the undead of the richest faction? What? How does that make sense? Alright, let's deal with this army. That's a cool portrait. Like a piece of artwork. The Targaryen soldier there, I love the look of that. Alright, you know the drill, Caraxes. Rain, fire, and terror, please. Oh, okay. So now it's like one interval. We've been whipping this dragon into a bloody place. Uh, we've got some new units as well for the first time. We've got some cell swords, which we've recruited in and around from the uh, the free cities. Also, guys, oh, as you come on in and join the stream, got some new faces. Make sure to leave the stream a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. Really helps out. Oh, the stream on the. Good old algorithm. Yeah. Also, I'd suggest just for not just me, it's like any other content creator as well. Like if they're if they do a variety of content and games and stuff. If you want to see more of them play that particular game, like even I'd do it. Fucking for certain stuff. Like, more so if it's historical, like, videos. Like, oh, I want to see more on World War Two compared to their 1700 stuff. Whatever YouTube channel is, I, I, like, make sure I like and comment and stuff. Like, hell, even I do it. Alright. Clear victory again. That should be the last of them. How should have it got ended? Should have ended with Sam Samwell... Clo opening the book of Game of Thrones. No, I kind of hate that theory that like Sam's like <sighs> like writing it all and it's all like a dream or it's like no, it should have ended when it like you pan out and then you see you're in a big giant's eye called Macumba. That's how it should end. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not a writer. I don't know how it should have fucking ended. Probably with John being king but not fucking Bran. I don't mind Bran being king in the books if it's like him su he's super it's like not Bran you know what I mean it's like I mentioned it before like a Borg like it's bloody look cute it's like a Picard from Star Trek it's like he's like fucking being controlled by the hive mind shit they also like put time travel in the show like essentially with bloody Hodor and Bran like that was weird then they just like never address that again. 
Uh, hopefully this is the last of them. Is that a Narnian portrait? What is that? It's like the bloody time turner from Harry Potter. It's like in that thir third book and then like they never mention it again, really. Oh god, don't get me started on bloody... The, um... The Cursed Child. Harry Potter fans hate that. <laughs> oh god. With like Voldemort's daughter and like Cedric Diggory get coming back. Oh my god, it sounds mad. From my perspective, I'd like to see John be king, but I don't know. Anyway, the uh, the triarchy has been crushed, kaput, done out here. So I guess we'll make a quick little stop over at Sunspear. And then where should we go? Should we march to Dragonstone, take it? Uh, should we go to... Straight to King's Landing? What do you guys reckon? Uh, where is Sun Spear here? And then we'll leave an army there to hold it. But our campaign in the Step Stones is complete. Trade and prosperity. Look at these trade lanes going to uh, House Valerian. Or Valerion. Valerian. I'm trying to... So, it's Valer Valeria. House Valerion. Valerion, House Valerian. I think I've said House Valerian. Valerion. I don't... That's what they say in... I think they change it in the show. My name is Cortus Valerion. I think I've said Cortus Valerian. Yeah, I think that's what I would. I think I've. I think I've changed my pronunciation of it. Conquer Dragonstone, then King's Landing. Yeah, I was thinking about going straight to King's Landing, but then I thought, oh, I actually probably should take Dragonstone because it's the um, traditional seat of the air. We probably should take it as a base of. Oh, I left Damon here. How the fuck did I do that? <laughs> Oof. Oh, God. Please, for the love of God, don't get intercepted. Because that's campaign done if he dies. <laughs> Shit. I haven't got a marriage proposal, though, either. Tyrell and Lannister at war. So there are a fair few houses going to war. How Stark allies with the Boltons and the Targs. House Stark at war with House Frey. House Lannister at war with House Tyrell. House Baratheon at war with Tyrell and Martell. Interesting. Why can't I move that ship in? Okay, whatever. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, um, I guess we uh, land here and then attack Sunspear. Prince Celus, Prince of Dawn. I guess we can take his crown, uh, I suppose. Not the most difficult battle, but I think we'll play this one just to show Dawn as a uh, Sunspear as a settlement off. I think that'd be cool. Oh, that's a shame. It's not custom. Really. It looks no different from those other ones. If we're being honest. Um, some of the stuff looks different, slightly. Well, these walls are taking a little bit to um, break down. I 
Okay, let's move Karaxis back. And let's just get everyone in. Cool. Let's have a look at the Dawnish. Yeah, Dawn was like... Like the Dawn plot lines like super interestingly and interest um interesting in the books, like with House Ironwood and the Ollas and stuff, but oh god, they just kind of went all like about the sand snakes and stuff. They also cut like Quentin Martell, like like maybe Quentin Martell. Um going to see Daenerys and then eventually getting killed by one of her dragons. Like, does that really help the show? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, that's the type of stuff that, oh, I really want to see that because I'm a book fan. But they have to, like, cut it. I guess. What was the point I was trying to make with that? Oh. Yeah. Like, that's... I was trying to make that sort of look... Compare that to, like... Rings of Power, but I, I guess they don't even do that. They just, like, retcon all this shit. Alright, let's speed things up. Let's get everyone in. But, Daemon Targaryen, the Rogue Prince, has launched a surprise attack at the Dornish, as they've yet to bend the knee and really be incorporated into the Seven Kingdoms. The Prince of Dawn will fall soon. Now, I am tempted once we're in Sunspear and got under our control to maybe um, offer them peace for it. Take the crown. Pretend to deliver it to Viserys. <laughs> also, Hightower is great as well. He's really, really good in the show. Does he play the lizard in that Spider-Man? The Andrew Garfield one? Am I wrong? I could be. I can't remember. But yeah, he, his scheming and stuff. We saw a little bit of um, Harwin Strong as well. Breakbones. Strongest man in Westeros. He, he's an Australian actor. <laughs> There's actually heaps of Australian actors in um, House of the Dragon, which is interesting. It's weird seeing him because he's in so much, like, just, like, local sort of shitty Australian shows. So it's a little bit jarring for me to see him in Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, he was in, like, was he in Neighbours, maybe? He was in, like, some of the, Pack to the Right. He's in those sort of shows that are on just, like, free to air. <laughs> uh, the last movie I watched him in, he was in The Water Diviner with Russell Crowe. That was a interesting movie. It was kind of weird, actually. It was like a Gallipoli movie. World War One about the Australian campaign against the Turks, and how he fucked up that royally. <laughs> I kind of like that we remember one of our bigger disasters. Like, militarily. Like, we remember it. Oh, God. Hey, I blame Churchill. It was his fucking stupid idea to sail up the Dardanelles. That's the only criticism I have of Churchill, probably. Yes, we'll have the Australians lead from the front. <laughs> oh, great. And the Kiwis, you can't forget. Can't forget our Kiwi brothers. Our Anzac boys. Did I not bring that, um... Maester over? Where is it? Oh, it's in lease now. That's annoying. Because we're going to need to send for him over. I think we hold in Sunspear because we might be able to use it as a bargaining chip. Alright, let's chuck a save. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. I need to go fill up my water bottle. I'm super thirsty. I'm not going to put an overlay on, but I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I won't be too long. And we'll continue this campaign. Then we'll make a play for Dragonstone and then King's Landing. So, right. 
I'll be back in a sec. BRB. Alrighty, I'm back. Maybe I should now that we're leaving this area put the auto stuff on so I don't have to manage it. Like I don't really care about managing fucking Mir and Tyrosh and stuff. <laughs> like like whatever. I don't think Damon's sort of the uh, manager type. <laughs> A full stack is enough. But let's just hope we're successful. Oh, going against uh, Rhaenyra and Viserys. Also, um, Rhaenys Hart potential match. Um, sure, we're gonna need to get Damon married off. So I guess she is Rhaenys Targaryen. <laughs> I guess that works. Hopefully you can have some children, because this campaign, like I said, it's been a, there's been a little bit of jeopardy about it. 
in the sense that um, if Damon dies, that's it. <laughs> uh, they're still rejecting. Oh, whatever. Alright, let's uh, keep on keeping on. Let's move to Dragonstone. And hopefully take it. Just burning through the turns here now. New family member. Uh, a daughter, which is interesting. Sheer E. Okay. Sheer Targaryen. Okay. Sheer. What a shit name. <laughs> Okay, so do we have a... Yeah, we do have an alliance with them. Oh, God. So, who's here? Okay. We're about to attack Dragonstone, boys. Yeah, even that, they cut rid... They got rid of um the Loras stuff and whether or not he's been burned to a crisp. Is he alive? Is he not? Yeah. There's heaps of stuff that they cut from those later seasons I would have liked to see. Okay, so who's in... Oh, no. Rhaenyra is in uh, Dragonstone. It's interesting, like, in the in the show, House of Dragon. Was it the first? Oh, it was the second, ep was it second or first episode? Can't remember. Anyway, he had an opportunity to kill her, but he didn't. We've got this weird relationship with her. Well, Damon is going to go full mental and uh, do some kinslaying to name himself King Upon the Iron Throne, I suppose. So, we want the Siege of Dragonstone. And unfortunately, Rhaenyra is probably going to pay the price. Lord of Dragonstone, Faction Heir. She has Dark Sister, which is interesting. Even though he should have it. And then we got some Targaryen reinforcements as well. Never fear, the Rogue Prince is here. Now, I'm pretty sure Dragonstone is a custom settlement as well, so that should be fun to play. I could be mistaken. Nope, it's custom. Cool. Wow. Look at the enormity of this castle. <laughs> Shit. And then we've got these reinforcements coming. Oh, no. I guess we'll just say we kidnapped Rhaenyra. And, I don't know, forced a marriage, maybe? I don't fucking know. Because I don't think he would kill her, but... You never know. Alright, let's break his way in. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Uh, we've broken down her gates. Okay. Where is she? Uh, she should be modelled in. She is in the um, other one. Oh, hang on. We've got the reinforcements coming from behind here. Oh, shit. Rotate here. She doesn't have a dragon with her. That sucks. Caraxes is going to be at a corner camp here. These reinforcing units, come on. There we go. The Targaryen Civil War is off and running. Wow. <laughs> Reinforcements trying to get back into Dragonstone. Just want to try and crush as many of them before they make their way inside. We've killed the captain, but some of them did make their way in. But it's not going to be enough to protect Rhaenyra, I suppose.
Oh, wow. Look how crazy this looks. Looks so cool. Oh, God, the camera's going ballistic. Yeah, but that's why this game crashes so much. Because there's fucking huge settlements like this. Oh, my God. Crazy. Did you experience any crashes yet? John Doe? Uh, yeah. We did. We experienced one. About an hour and a half in. Um, lot less last time I played it, but maybe because it's when I had a fresh... I had to actually install it fresh today. Which took a little bit. That's why I was a little bit late. I also had to whip up a thumbnail, but... Thank thankfully, it hasn't been too bad. Maybe because there's nowhere near as much drag... Uh, dragons in the Rogue Prince timeline compared to... Later on in the dance? Maybe, I don't know. But no, I found that this mod is incredibly... Um, sort of just fallible to crashes for whatever reason. Well, unfortunately, Rhaenyra has been slain. Oh, no. Damon the Rogue Prince wanting to crown himself King of Westeros in this alternative timeline series. Here's the peasants attacking the dragon pit. Pretty cool piece of art. The living should smile for the dead cannot. True. Oh, to be fair, Dagmar cleft jaw in um, Game of Thrones is pretty cool. I kind of liked his relationship he had with um, Theon. I hope the dev fixes this mod. This is the only better and playable GOP mod. I think there's others. I've got access to versions of other people's stuff that are pretty stable. But um, it's definitely pretty ambitious. I just think it's just medieval too. Like, unless you're constantly working and patching and doing stuff, like, the only reason why, like, the Lord of the Rings Third Age mod, um, Divide and Conquer is stable is because they worked on it for so goddamn long. But, like, even I have crashes. It depends on the Windows version you're running. It depends on how you installed it. There's a couple steps that, like, if you don't do it properly, it, like, fucks it. Even after all that, it still crashes occasionally. It's just because there's so much stuff going on. It's pretty ca crazy. When I first installed this mod, I was kind of blown away. As to, um... How much bloody stuff was in this, and all the other timelines as well. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got more fucking spam here. <laughs> oh my god. That shit's so annoying. Okay, we want to march to King's Landing now. Yeah, I wonder who technically is the heir with Rhaenyra dead due to Damon. Gar Stormborn with the Jon Snow pick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I don't think we go after Driftmark. Call us Valarian. So, Valarion. Chorus Valarion. Chorus Valerian. Valarian. Yeah, I guess I was saying it wrong back in the day. A Valarion. Yeah, I guess... No, I'm not even going to bother. The Martells ain't going to want peace for some reason. I'll hold uh, Sun Spear, fuck it. Okay. So who's in King's Landing? <laughs> Viserys. <laughs> is that is that Varus? <laughs> the little the spider? <laughs> Got some gold cloaks here as well. I do quite like the look of the gold cloaks. In um House of the Dragon. Got Hog here. Alright, let's get Damon to land, and then he's going to 
fight his brother. But it's interesting that he's rolling with a red banner and Caraxes on it. But yeah, King of On the Iron Throne, female advisor, veteran sailor, black fire. Faction leader, Viserys, 35. But they say he's got the plague, plague and he's missing some fingers and stuff here and there. All right, let's take this city. Let's take King's Landing. Damon with the Siege of King's Landing. Let's go. Daemon Targaryen. Is at the gates. But, like, even all the cost... Uh, um, customizable um, settlements as well. It looks really cool, this mod. Because I remember back in the day, you nearly didn't need to play Sieges because <laughs> um, none of them were uh, unique. But here is King's Landing. We've got the Sept of Baylor. We've got Flea Bottom. Yeah, they cancelled that Flea Bottom show, eh? <laughs> I, think, I don't think that would have been very good. <laughs> And then we've got the uh, Red Keep with like the, this is like the iconic Game of Thrones shot. Yeah, like that one. Very cool. Alright. Those rein are those reinforcements coming? Oh, they're coming slowly. Alright. Oh, we actually might need to send... Hang on. I'm going to need to send Corexies in, though, because we need to uh, get past that last gate. We got gold cloaks here. <laughs> Put down your arms, men. I was your former commander. Corexies just comes in and fucking burns him to a crisp. Uh, you know what? I might send my cavalry over here to deal with them. That's a pretty cool Targaryen captain in coming in. Uh, oh, got to be careful here because friendly fire can be a little bit bad. Yeah, so I guess this is King Viserys here. With his retainer. Oh no. Burnt his brother to a crisp. Nearly crushed everyone inside anyway. Nice. A little bit risky firing it that close. Alright, let's move you in here. Caraxes might actually be able to cap the town square. As our cavalry is just trying to stop them from flanking. Is he capping at all? Yeah, he is. He's initiated the countdown. The dragon's back within the belly of the red keep. Oh, no, he stopped it. Flapping about. I guess we just move everyone in. He can't stick to a position, so I have to move him around heaps. <laughs> yeah, like I'm clicking, he's just not holding his position. Oh, here we go. Once we burn them to a crisp, we probably won anyway. Yeah, we have. Nice. Let's end the battle there. King's Landing is under Damon's control. He's going to take the Iron Throne by right of conquest. Damon Targaryen, the Rogue Prince. King of the First Men, the Roinar, and the Andals.
Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. King of the Narrow Sea. Is that how it goes? I can't remember the full fucking thing of it. It's massive. There's a cool shot with Bobby B and Ned in the Siege of Pike, I suppose. And I guess we sack King's Landing. He hasn't got the title yet, has he? No, maybe we need to give it a turn. Alright, let's check a save. They might react quickly, but... Oh, we had another game crash. You're kidding me. <laughs> two and two hours. Fuck. That's annoying. Because we were nearly about to wrap things up. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Like, even for me. Thankfully... We've only had two in two hours, so it's not crazy, but yeah, I've definitely had uh, more, let's say. No godless man may sit the sea stone chair. Bloody damp hair. Alright, we'll load things back. It won't take too long. Is anyone else live stream this on YouTube? Like, do they have heaps of crashes as well? That's the only annoying thing about this mod. You have to bloody redo it ever so often. But you wouldn't have seen it in the YouTube series I did with Rhaenyra because I edited the stuff out. But it happened quite a bit. Okay, let's just do another save. And cross our fingers that it doesn't do it again. Nope, I think we're good now. And... Does he get like a like a trait for holding King's Landing? No, he doesn't. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching uh, episode one. We're probably going to wrap things up here today. We've done really well. Wow, we've prob we played for two hours, which was probably what I was aiming for today. Anyway, we've hit our objective of Daemon Targaryen, Daemon, the Rogue Prince, taking the Stepstones with the help of Corlys Velaryon. We've named Daemon King of the Narrow Sea. We took Sunspear and we dismantled the Triarchy, taking Lease, notably their uh, pleasure houses, I suppose. Uh, Tyrosh, Mir, we have taken Dragonstone and now King's Landing. So let me know in the chat and comments. Would you like to see episode two tomorrow? Should we continue this going after Aegon and the High Towers with Viserys and Rhaenyra? dead and done or should we move on to something else have we sort of pushed this campaign as far as we can go like i think it'd be a little bit weird for him going concrete around everyone else um i guess we could do a toggle fire to just see what's going on this is always cool to have a look what's going on around the world actually it might give us a like i don't even know if they're of age yet the Children of Viserys. No, I don't think so. Any other territories changing hands? <laughs> the Tyrells have taken Cornfield from the Lannisters. Uh, the Starks haven't taken the Twins. The Boltons still up in the north. Yeah. But maybe this should just be a short series. I don't know. Maybe we should move on to something else. Okay. Um, let's... Act you know what? I've actually got the save files here that I was like testing... So, hot there. Yes, this is Damon. Then I was looking at, yeah, I was looking at an Aegon series potentially today. Because I was, when I put out that vote, I hadn't fully decided actually exactly what I was going to do. I eventually, obviously, landed on Damon the Rogue Prince. But we're going to have a look at some of these other scenarios potentially that we could do. Maybe tomorrow or... 
over the next couple of days. This depends if you guys want to see more Game of Thrones. If you do, support it and I'll do more by making sure to leave the stream a like. If you haven't already. Is it going to load properly? It might take a bit because it's technically loading another campaign from this one, but we'll see how we go. So, this is a campaign that's in the Fire and Blood mod, which is Aegon's Conquest. So, we've got Aegon the Conqueror here. He's married to Rhaenys, his sister wife. He has his bastard brother, uh, Oris Baratheon, who's on Meraxes, the Hand of the King, which has the display picture of the guy from Vikings. I recognize so many of these portraits, <laughs> so it's very jarring for me. Oh, wait, he's... Uh, no, he's not in the last king. He's in, Vi yeah, he's in Vikings. He plays the priest, yeah. Visenya, who is like the Rhaenyra portrait. So, we could play as Aegon. Um, we're currently at war with House Hoa and... Um, uh, it's not Don... De it's... Uh, it's the other Storm Kings, isn't it? How do you say that again? Dora... Door and on, because House Baratheon isn't a thing, isn't it? Uh, who else have we got? Celtigar, the other Valerians. So it's a slightly different time period. Obviously, kicking things off in Aegon's conquest. So we could go around just conquering people, because we've got House Gardner of the Field of Fire. We've got House uh, Hoa here. But, I don't know, maybe playing Aegon's Conquest in CK2 might be better, because then we can actually puppet and bend the knee of these houses. Like, full-on conquering them would be quite weird. I don't think you can actually, um, like, full-on make them bend the knee and subjugate, you know? Uh, also, potentially, um, playing as Aegon, the son of Viserys. So, if you don't want to see spoilers for future events in, um, the Dance of Dragons, House of the Dragons, feel free to click off. But let's have a look at Aegon and the Greens. Because we could play on the other side, but it's kind of yet to kick off. So maybe we should wait for a couple weeks before we do a Greens campaign. Because we'll, we'll talk about Aegon now. So, be warned. A little bit spoilery as we load and have a look. So, this is probably what? 20 years from, like, this latest episode. So, we've got, obviously, Aegon Targaryen, the Usurper, who's 18. His father, Viserys, died. Um, his uncle is Otto Hightower. His mother is, obviously, Alicent Hightower. He's got a brother, uh, Aemond, who's 17. So, we could play with the Greens. He's king of the Iron Throne, has Sunfire. Uh, his brother, Aemond the One-Eye, has Vagar. And Daron, his younger brother as well, is here. So we could play as the Greens. Um, that might be fun. Throwing back Rhaenyra and Daemon as they try to <laughs> rightfully take the Iron Throne. What have we got? Oh, we got Sir Kristen here, Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. Uh, who else do we have? Some Brackens. We have Otto Hightower, of course. And his brother. I thought he had an older brother. And then we've got the Lannisters, the Baratheons, Targaryens on our side, facing the Starks, the Arons, and the Targaryens. So, we could potentially do that, or maybe we could do 
Battle of the Five Kings. I haven't decided just yet. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's pretty late here in Australia. I've been streaming for a couple hours already, and uh, I need to go to bed. It's four o'clock here. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support, the feedback and suggestions. If you guys have interacted with chat and uh, participated, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I've had a blast here today. It was a lot of fun playing as Damon the Rogue Prince. So we might come back to it, but there's plenty of options to move on to something else as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Bean Simsy, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. We've got some more live streams to come, particularly over the next couple of days and uh, weeks most definitely. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye.